Now, not only can message body readers and message body writers be implemented for the common media types, you can also create your own custom media types and implement message body readers and message body writers. So a string like application slash JSON, it's a media type but it's actually an arbitrary string. You can create your own application slash my media type and have message body readers and message body writers implemented for it. So let's uh, create a custom media type in this tutorial. In the previous course, I had mentioned that when you use media type constants, there's really no magic that's happening here. So this is just a string. You see, there is text slash plain, which is what media type dot text plane does is just a constant string. So you can imagine what it takes to create a new media type. Well, you don't have to do anything. It's just another string, right? So any arbitrary string can be a media type. Now, all you have to do to create a new media type is to choose what string you want and make sure you have the right message body readers and message body writers for your new media type. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna create a custom media type. Uh, I'm gonna choose the same example of returning a date. I'm gonna create a new media type for returning a short date. So um, let me remove this text plane. I can pass in a string here, which is my new media type. This could be anything. I'm just gonna call it text slash short date. So this could be foobar, it doesn't matter. Right? So it's just a string. So I can create a new media type just by sending this string here to the producers. Now, if I run this, what's gonna happen is, can you guess? Let's try it out. I'm just gonna call the same thing, internal status 500, the same error that we've seen before. Message body writer not found for date and for this new media type called text slash short date. So, that's the second step. We have to create a new message body writer which knows how to convert from date to text slash short date. So let's do that. I'm gonna copy the existing date message body writer and I'm gonna paste this here. I'm gonna call this date or short date message body writer. Click okay. So this should produce the media type that we want, which is text slash short date. And uh, here, what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna do a string short date, date dash, Date dot get month dash date dot get year. Okay, and now I'm gonna do a short date dot get bytes. So I'm just sending short date. So I'm getting a short date which is date dash month dash year, and I'm sending that back for text slash short date content type. Let's save this and uh, let's access this again. And here you see the short date. So this is all it takes to create a new media type, right? You define your string, have a unique string for your media type, and then make sure you have the right message body writers and the right message body readers to write to the output stream and read from the input stream. All right, so Another thing I can do is, and this is this is pretty cool. So I have a producer's annotation over here, which takes in my new custom media type, right? I can actually have a bunch of media types over here that we've already seen. So let's say I have a value property here and I can send in a bunch of media types. Let's say I do a media type dot text plane, as well as my text slash short date media type. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is, when a request comes in, a client can pick what media type they want from the accept header. And what Jersey, what Jaxar is going is going to do is looking at the accept header, it's going to pick the right message body writer to convert that and write to the output stream. So if the media type that in the accept header is text slash plain, it's going to choose the date message body writer. 
And if the media type in the accept header is text slash short date, it's gonna pick this one. So I'm gonna illustrate that in Postman. So I have the Postman window open over here. I'm gonna make a get request to this. It returns the text plane by default. But now let's say I add the accept header and I pass in my custom media type, text slash short date. Now I get the short date. So this is pretty cool. Text plane returns the original text. So this is a brief introduction to creating your own media types. There are a few scenarios where you would want to do this. I've seen some people use this for versioning. So you have a produces uh, version v1, version v2 over here and have different methods execute for different versions of your API. I don't think that's a very good idea, but I've seen that being used for versioning. Uh, you can also have different media types for things like CSV or uh, other data formats, which are not available out of the box with any of these frameworks. So this is how you do it. This is how you create your own custom media types and add support by using message body readers and message body writers.